we must repent. The only reason why we keep going through the same conditions because we we live in the same way as when we get off those ships. We came over here on in sin, and yet we still in sin. Bring it out. So we're gonna bring some more, some more laws out to show you what you need to do. That's Give me Leviticus 21 and 5 for my brother right here. I'm gonna touch on what I see as I see it. I see a lot of drug dealing, a lot of prostitution going on. Do, do prostitution going on this corner right here? Yeah. Yes, it do. Have you ever bought a hole on this corner before? No. You say no. Yeah. Have you known somebody to buy a hole on this corner before? Yeah. Yeah. Because they be out here. Right. All right. Read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. That's a law that was given to the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read it again. They shall not make boldness upon their head. There's a law pertaining to the Israelites, us, that you're not supposed to shave your head bald. We didn't know that. That's another reason why we went into captivity, slavery, all right? So if you, if you lose your head naturally, that's okay. But if you deliberately shave your head bald, God said that is against the law. That's transgression of the law. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. We are neither supposed to shave off our beards. Like that brother right there got a beard? That's good. He's obtaining the law. That's okay. You can trim it, make it nice and neat, but don't shave it off. So what you got to do? Let your beard grow. What you got to do? Let your beard grow. Don't, I'm going to tell you something. The most high God would judge you for these least laws. Let me get least laws. For you breaking a least law, he would judge you. The judgment for that is death. You wonder why they, they call them innocent bystanders get shot. Oh, he was just getting off work. He he was minding his own business. And he got a straight bullet to the head. Not even knowing his beard was shaved off. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all some more laws. But let's get there. Read what you got. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it out. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Christ said, don't even think for a split second in your mind that I came to put away the law. The law still exists today. See? We still will be upholding the law today. Christ said, don't even think that I came to do, do away with the law. Read. That's right. Or the prophets. He said, or his prophets. Us that's speaking to you right now. Or Jeremiah. All right. Isaiah. All right. Moses. Okay. John the Baptist. John the Revelator. He said, he ain't coming to do away with them either. Read. I am that come to destroy, but to fulfill. Huh? For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, Please. to all be fulfilled. Please. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. These what? Least commandments. Read it again. Who? Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Because growing a beard is a least commandment. Right. That's easy to do. You ain't got to even sprinkle no shape, nothing on it. It just grow out of your follicles automatically. But it takes some within you to say, you know what? I don't like this. I'm shaving this off. That's sin. Read it one more time. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. If you break one of the least commandments, shaving your beard, eating pork or catfish, what's going to happen? And shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you ain't going to get the kingdom. That That's means you're not going to make it. You're going to die right here in the same estate that you're living in, which is that sin. Right That's up. what the most high God is talking about. This Bible is filled with prophecies that already happened. Prophecies that's yet to come. It's filled with law, statutes, commandments that we must keep. All right? Give me Isaiah chapter 45 and 7. Real quick. I'm going to show you that the Lord is a judge. He judges the earth every day. But the ultimate judgment is coming soon. That's that kaboom, the nuclear missiles. That's right. Yeah, that's coming. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Bring it out. I form the light. Now, who formed the light in this place? Christ, the Lord, he formed the light in this place. Remember in the book of Genesis, let there be light. Read on. And create darkness. Who created the darkness, the deep, the space? Christ, the Lord. He formed the space. Read. I make peace 
He said, he's the one that actually make peace on the earth. It's all up to him. Read. And create evil. He does what? And create evil. Believe it or not, the Lord is the one that create evil. The Lord got a missile reserved for the wicked in the earth. Yes, he call it the, what do you call it? The, the waster. He call it the waster. That's a missile. That's a nuke for all those who think they're going to escape in those bunkers. Your Donald Trumps. You understand? Your Fauci's. Who think they're going to escape in those bunkers? No, the Lord said he had a missile for them. Bring it up. And for the wicked of his people as well. All right? Read. I, the Lord, do all these things. Who does this? I, the Lord, do all these things. Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and, uh, 32 and 9. Was that it on that? Yes, sir. Let's get that. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 9. Because the Lord said he create light, darkness, peace, and evil. The, the Lord said he do these things. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. God said there is no God with him, meaning he don't need no help. He can destroy, he create evil whenever he like. Read. I kill. He does what? I kill. What you read? This is the Bible. This is the Bible we read. The Most High God said he do what? I kill. So if you want to know why is all these murders happening on the weekends of the 4th of July and the weekends of Memorial Day, the weekends of these wicked holidays, because God say what? I kill. He kill because when he sees people in wickedness and they don't want to repent, he do what? I kill. Read. And make a lie. God. Babies are born every day. He said, I kill and I make alive. Meaning he brings forth life every day in the, in, on this earth. He take life every day on this earth. You understand? It's a revolving door. That's what y'all got to understand. It's an exit and it's an enter. You enter and you exit. You understand? Breathe. I wound. He wound you. The people that didn't die in those gunshots, the, the, uh, the drive out those, those gunshots, he wounded them. That was, that was the most I got, believe it or not. Bring it out. Breathe. I heal. And he heal you. For those that survived the gunshots or the stab wound or that car accident or that drug overdose, he actually healed them. Right. Give me that in Exodus chapter 15 and 3. Is that 15 and 3 I want? Okay. Let's get that. So I want you to understand the origins of God. I don't want you to think that he's just some spiritual being. No. He has a body just like you and I got a body. Right. But he made things happen. That's right. Because we've been lied to too, too, too long. Okay. Read what you got. This is the book Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. What is the Lord? A man of war. Give me your, I don't need to hear your understanding of what a man of war look like and what he, give me his, his, his objective, his main objective, his MO. My brother with the red hat, my brother with the black hat. Come here for a second. You. Read, listen to this. Read it again. The Lord is a man of war. Let me ask you a question. What is a man of war? What is his capability? What is he capable of doing? Killing. Let me hear your answer. Destruction. Destruction. My brother with the red hat. Oh, what is the prophecy? Take care of Read it again for my brother with the red hat. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. My question to you is, what does a man of war, how does a, a man of war carry himself? A man of war that destroy and kill. Destroy and kill. He strategize. A man of war, when you go to war, you don't just go to war and just spray it. You strategize. Bring it out. It ain't, it ain't listen, it's chess. It ain't checkers. All right? Every move is thought out. Let's get that in the book. What's that? King, uh, Kings? Where he, where he uh, took counsel before he destroyed Ahab? First Kings, 19. First Kings chapter 19. Start at verse what? 21? Verse 20. First Kings chapter 19. Start at verse 20. I want to show you that the Lord is a man of war. And he, every, every move is well thought out. Those babies that got killed, those, those babies, that, that was well thought out, believe it or not. I know that's harsh to say, but the Lord said, I kill, I make alive. But I'm going to show you the reason why he does that. I'm going to show you. We're going to show you how the orders of God get down. Every move is thought out. But why you holding that? Give me Hosea 5 and 15 real quick. Because, remember, those babies that got killed, believe it or not, that was judgment of the Lord. Innocent bystanders, what we call them, the Lord don't see them as innocent bystanders. I'm going to show you. Read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge 
offense. Their offense. Their what? Their offense. Into the game from the top. I will go and return to my place. At one point, when we was keeping the commandments as a nation, the Lord was rolling with us hard, fighting for us. The moment we transgressed his laws, the moment we started breaking his commandments, shaving our face, eating pork, sleeping with women after women, committing adultery, fornication, the Lord said, what? I will go and return to my place. He said, I will go and return to my place, meaning I will turn my back on y'all. And he went to his place. You gotta remember the book of Numbers, when Miriam started murmuring about Moses with the Ethiopian woman. The Lord, that chariot that was over the tabernacle, it left. He, he left and returned to his place. And they were scared as hell because in that moment, Miriam turned leprous, white as your t-shirt. You understand? He played the instantly. Read what you got. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge the sin that we are in, he's no longer gonna fight for us. That chariot is no longer gonna be hovering over us. We, not, we no longer have that umbrella of protection. You understand? And that's why the children get shot down in the street. Be, read on. And seek my face. Until we acknowledge our offense and seek out of this book of the Lord. That's his face. The word of God. Yes. Read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Then and only then, when we see our people get afflicted. When it, it's going to take for somebody near and dear, close to you, for you to be like, you know what? Damn, they took Charlie. Oh, shit. They don't took Charlie. You know what? Them brothers was right. I'm going to go ahead and start keeping the commandments now. I'm going to go grow my beard out. Don't wait till you take your son. Right. Read it again. I will go and return to my place. He gonna turn his back on you. He no, he no longer gonna fight for you. That's when things gonna start. Think bad things and tragedies gonna start happening in your life. Three. Till they acknowledge their offense. People are gonna die all around you. You gonna get plagued and sick until you what? A until they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge, until you come to the understanding that you're supposed to be keeping the commandments. So you bethink yourself and start keeping the commandments. Read. And seek my face. Until you seek the word God, the laws of God, everything, every and everything gonna happen to you. Right. You're gonna lose family members. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna get plagued with gout, diabetes, cancer. You understand? God gonna jack you up. We're gonna read that in the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.